Well, good morning. What a night it's been. We had a full moon last night and it did not disappoint. So I'm just going to get the chicken feed. I got to do chores in the dark this morning because the uh, flashlight battery's dead. Flashlight battery's dead, not only because I didn't plug it in last night, because we spent a couple hours actually using it last night. It was a full moon last night. And so uh, when I come up this morning, you look at the moon out, it's out west and it's like real low, like a, like a dirty orange color, like it's like a harvest blood moon. So, you know, one of the good ones, right? <clears throat> well, anyways, last night I was just, uh, I think I was sitting on the couch. Anyways, I heard I heard an, a ruckus and the donkey was braying and I thought, oh, that's kind of weird. And uh, so I went out to the back or the front deck, sorry. And I could hear this horse bellering as well. And then I heard the noise. And if you're if you if you've ever heard this noise, you know what I'm talking about. The noise the high tensile wire makes right before it breaks. It's like it's like a nails on the chalkboard, kind of like. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I'm like. I yelled at Carmen, I'm like, I think I think there's a horse stuck in the fence. So I run out there with the flashlight, she grabs the other flashlight, and we get out there, and fortunately no horses were stuck in the fence. Uh, but the neighbor's horse had actually got out. And so he's a stud, and turns out Rosie, one of the horses here, uh, is is feeling pretty amorous. So huh, they, they, there was, love was in the air, let's just say that. Uh, but there was a fence, obviously, between uh, well, two fences, but one one held up, the other one did not. And so then there was quite the goat rope and rodeo to uh, try and catch this horse. Uh, so we almost got it back. Actually, the neighbor came home. We almost got it back in his yard. And then it bolted across the the road and, and into our yard and traipsed around. We got it caught in the corrals anyways. And long story short, all was well. But while it was in our pens, like, it was it, it was wild because... I tell you, like this thing was, he had his business hanging out and it was just like, whoa. Like, he's like, was like another horse down there. Like, holy cow. And <laughs> anyways, I'm glad it all came to a safe resolution. Um, but here, that's why, <laughs> that's why I'm doing chores in the dark this morning. So I'm just out here in Rio Grande doing a bit of combine. And Carmen was out in the combine most of the day. I think she was combining barley. And uh, I'm out doing canola right now. I've never combined canola before. So this is new for me. I'm pretty sure the father-in-law has an aneurysm every time I say I'm getting on the combine. He has to give me the old step-by-step -step procedure because I can never remember how to do it. But this stuff is coming in thick. It's like, it's like trying to suck up Afghan quilts. might seem a little bit cheesy but it is actually pretty cool you sit in a combine harvesting under an actual harvest full moon I thought that's pretty that's pretty neat for sure it is just before midnight I just made it home from Rio Grande finished combining for the evening and I'm oh I'm so tired I don't even think I'm gonna make a cup of tea tonight I'm just gonna go straight to bed but I figured I better run in the shop here and just make sure feed's mixed up for tomorrow morning because 5 a.m. is going to come quick. So anyhow, I'll let you go for now. Hope you have a fantastic evening, night, morning, whatever it is. Anyways, we'll talk to you tomorrow.